Let's tease that out in a, in a little bit. Do you see this as a human rights issue, Garth? I see it as a, a potentially a victim issue, as we're out, yeah, a huge concern is. I, I agree with what Kelvin said about being treated humanely. Everybody has a, a, a right to so be treated. So what's happening hum in, in, on Christmas Island at the moment? Not good? Well, I think what I, the way I uh, interpret that is we ultimately now have, uh, I think, been forewarned about what is potentially going to be landed on our shores here. I mean, we know they've been landed here and we know the debacle that has been happening here. So we've got a serious issue. Whether you, whichever side of the debate you're on, well, let's stay we have Australia. a serious let's issue. Th let's stay in Australia just for now. What's your assessment of what's happening on Christmas Island? As I said, look, we've, they've got to be treated humanely. There's no problem about that. I don't know enough about what has happened on Christmas Island or what triggered it as such. But ultimately what I'm saying is there is really no excuse for the type of riots, that type of thing that's happening on, in Christmas Island. You look at the number of Australians that are in our prisons, it's way, way out of balance to the number of New Zealanders oh, I think that are 30, in there. Is that right? 30, 30 to 600 odd deportees com in comparison. So we have, I mentioned, some serious deep rooted issues here that are giving us concern as an organisation. These guys are damaged, though. They're being damaged. You know, if they were rehabilitated in the Australian prisons like they should have been, they go into the detention centres, they're now damaged. Now the Prime Minister's opened up the doors to New Zealand when we were saying they should stay in Australia with their um, support networks. So these guys are damaged and they're going to be living here in New Zealand and I'm scared that the, that the Prime Minister hasn't gone far enough in worrying about victims because what he's going to do is, is create further victims by these guys coming back and they're, now they're damaged, they're not, in a, you know, they're not being rehabilitated into New Zealand society. We're yeah. going to create more victims. So you agree? Issue, you, you, yeah, you, I, I agree see you with, nodding there again. Yeah, I do. I agree with what Calvin's saying there. But the real issue we've we've got here, in, in my opinion, is a lot. Australia's getting rid of them as soon as they possibly can. It's a dollar issue. Like a lot of them have been released at one third of their sentence. Nobody gets released at one third of their sentence in New Zealand unless they are safe or not an undue risk to society, as our legislation says. But these guys have been dumped back on our shores as soon as possible, at one third of the sentence. So there's no rehabilitation going on over there. So you're saying so Australia is just pushing the problem over here? Yeah, absolutely, at the earliest po possible opportunity. Yep. So let me just ask you, Dale, let's just clarify that, I mean, we're talking about this as a human rights issue. Is Australia contravening any sort of international law here on, on, on a human rights front? Oh, I'd say the most basic of, of human rights laws and uh, human rights norms internationally, which would be the United Nations Charter, it's in breach of. Uh, it's in breach of the International Covenant of, Civ and of Civil and Political Rights. It's in breach of the Un uh, Universal Declaration of Human Rights. There's a whole raft of international conventions that it's in breach of. The issue is they can't be held to account to those international conventions by the the people that are incarcerated by them because they can't get access to legal advice or legal protections there and they can't take a case against the Australian individuals by and large at international law prevented from taking actions against state parties without state permission so they rely on states like ours like New Zealand or neighbouring states to look over the borders and say hang on a minute that's not on what you're doing there is not on and can I just come back to, to, to Garth's point because I know Calvin's been to Christmas Island and knows the, the circumstances is there about what would lead these people to riot and, and you've got to there's a one word response to that it seems and that's circo and that's got to raise alarm bells for New Zealanders when our government is outsourcing prisons here to that same company you, or has had issues with that. 